Hey guys, this is Tia Bryan for City Schools TV on a new web series we're calling The New School. Coming to you guys from my house during quarantine, trying my best to maintain social distance, but I want to get some perspective and thoughts of my teacher and see how they're handling the new social distance learning. Right now, I'm joined by Miss Katie, who is my math professor, and she teaches at Green Street Academy. So Miss Katie, how are you doing today? I'm doing just fine. Thank you so much for having me on. Of course. So what has been the biggest adjustment that you had to make from physical learning to being like in a building and seeing the students to online learning? Um, I think it has a lot to do with what you actually just said of just seeing everybody. Um, I try and have a lot of participation in my class and gauge how everybody's reacting to things by walking around the room and looking at faces and things like that. And I don't have that now that we're in an online right. environment. It's definitely been an adjustment. So what are some of the approaches that you have been taking to distance learning? So I'm just trying to be as flexible as I can and provide lots of different resources. Um, with a math class, we need technology to do a lot of our calculations, but I know that not everybody has the same technology. So I'm right. just trying to research as many different options as I can so that I can find things, you know, what, what works well for one student might not work well for a different one. So I'm just trying to get as many different tools out there as, as I can since we don't all have the same tech at home as we do at school. Right. So what is like one of the like the main platforms that has been working for your students? Um, so we've been using Zoom to do our actual lectures, um, which everybody's been able to get on. So that's been really great. Um, and then I'm trying to use Google Sheets to do a lot of our calculations since that's something that's free and you can access it from your phone easily or from a computer. Um, so trying to stick to things that I think most people would be able to access at home. So I wanted to know what have you been doing to stay motivated and getting on Zoom in front of the class. I know you're not used to this. Everyone's just trying to adjust. So what are you doing to just stay on top of things and make sure all the students are being engaged? Um, I, I haven't had to do a lot because you guys are motivating to me. I want this class to still be something that's you can be successful in and that you enjoy going to. Um, and I actually said in class this morning, I realized it's helped me feel a little bit more normal to like have right. a class again that's meeting on a regular schedule. Um, and so that has like helped keep my spirits up. Um, and so just trying to like keep energy high and, and keep everybody in, engaged. But um, I think it's been a nice, it feels a little bit more back to normal actually to have the class, even if it's online than it did when we weren't meeting at all. Um, I also wanted to know, do you have any strategies that you will give students or maybe even teachers to be the most like effective during this time? I think communication is really important. Um, I think everybody has different things going on at home during this time and I want to be flexible and accommodating but I just have to know what people have going on. So I've been asking my students a lot to just like keep me in the loop, tell me what's up with them. I'm trying to you know send out messages after each class to make sure that even if somebody wasn't able to join the online class they still get all the information. Um, yeah so just trying to make sure that there's as much communication going back and forth. I'm also doing a lot of communication with your staff at Green Street so that they're in the loop as to how our class is going. Um, so just trying to make sure that even though we're not seeing each other all the time, everybody definitely knows everything that's still going on. And just one last question. I wanted to know, how have you been trying to keep students engaged? I know some teachers are kind of like spamming the students with emails to keep reminding them to like, you know, this is you or that is you. But other teachers are kind of letting students like kind of go at their own pace. So what's been working for you? Um, I've been trying to, so we, we're in a statistics class, um, and so even though everything that's going on in the world right now is not good, there are a lot of interesting statistics and interesting like real life applications that are of the things we're learning in class that we can see happening as people are reporting data about the spread of COVID and all that other stuff. So trying to bring those things into class and send out messages along those lines um, to help make those real world connections. Um, and then just trying to be available, but hopefully not spamming you too much with email. <laughs> <laughs> no, I kind of like the, not like too much, but I kind of like the constant reminder, like, hey, you know, by the way, this is you, you have to do this. Cause it makes me also be on top of my things. It keeps me engaged. It makes you like want to do my work. Like, oh yeah, I have to do this as well. Yeah. I trust that you'll tell me if it gets too much. <laughs> I will. <laughs> so that is all the time that we have for today. But I want to say a quick thank you so much for joining me in this interview today and taking time out of your social distancing to answer a few of my questions.
of course thank you so much for having me and uh it's been a pleasure and a huge thank you to all of our viewers for tuning in today be sure to stay safe this has been tia brian for city schools tv coming to you guys from my screen to yours during quarantine see you next time